When the USFL expanded into Pittsburgh, there was a lot of hope for a very successful franchise. Things started off well. The first home game was sold out. But the Pittsburgh Maulers on Sunday fired their head coach, Joe Pendry, after dropping to a 2-8 and eight record. Friday night, the Maulers lost their fourth in a row, this time 17-7 to Walter Lewis and the Memphis Showboats. There was a meeting to discuss the team on Sunday in Youngstown, Ohio, with owner Edward J. DeBartolo Sr. They asked Joe Pendry, the head coach, to be there, but he didn't show and was fired. We were all told after the game, Friday night, Dan, that uh, Mr. DeBartolo would like to meet with us Sunday morning at 9 o'clock. Discussion on the plane about the game, and uh, I planned to go Sunday to the Youngstown, and I thought George and Joe would go also. We had a meeting with uh, George Huddleston, the general manager, and Paul Martin concerning uh, the actions that were taking place at that particular time. It was at this particular time that they were asked. Henry was an assistant with the Philadelphia Stars last year. Paul Martha saw the pressure on the head coaching position of Joe Pendry. They said it took its toll. My perception of Joe was he was different than he was when the season began. And it was a combination of disappointment and frustration. I haven't talked to the uh, individual players yet. We asked that they talk to their uh, group coaches, to, uh, who I think they feel much closer to, certainly, and can express their feelings at that particular time. And I think some of them have done that already. This, I think, will have to be proven over the next eight weeks. So Joe Pendry joins a list that includes John Ralston and also Ray Yock as coaches being fired this year in the United States Football League. Professional football, you have to win, no doubt about that.